LA Turner has just released an update which changes the automation game completely. You can now use this tool here to generate entire AI workflows, AI agents from just a single text prompt and AI does the rest of the work for you. In the past, I've spent hours and hours building AI workflows. However, now you can build them in literally seconds. However, at the moment, you cannot access this normally with the standard version of NA10. You have to go through a slight process, which I'm going to show you in this video. So let's go through it. Let me show you how to enable it. And let me show you how to build NA10 workflows in seconds, not hours. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are within NA10. Now it's important to note that you have to be using the most up-to-date version on the cloud. So the cloud version, not self-hosted and not locally hosted either. It's gotta be uh, on the cloud. Maybe there'll change this in the future, but for now, that's the way it's gotta work. So what you want to do is create a new workflow. It's gonna look a little bit like this and you will not see anything special to begin with. Now, what we're gonna have to do is we want to open up the console. So to do that, I need to right click, but I can't do that here. I'm gonna go up here and click on inspect. Um, if you're not using Chrome, then you have to open up this some other way. But if you're using Chrome, like I think a lot of people are, it's very easy. We want to go over to console and we're gonna clear it just so it looks a little bit nicer. And then what we're gonna do is paste this bit of code. Now I've got this bit of code in my free community, which I've got a link to down below. You can obviously just uh, pause and copy this if you want to. Then we're gonna come over to where we were before, paste this in to console and press enter. Now, we're not gonna see anything change immediately because what we want to do is then click on reload and we will see that when we reload it, we will now get that build with AI. So if we close this, we can now see that we have the build with AI widget or button or whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna click on this. Now we get this pop-up on the right-hand side or this slide out menu, which says, what would you like to automate? And in here, we can type in anything that we want and we're gonna get an automation of that thing that we wanna build. You can see here down below, they've got a load of, well, they don't have a load, they've got what, so it's like 10 or so different um, examples. I'm gonna use one of these examples. So let's have a look and let's go uh, pizza delivery chatbot. You can see here that it entered this pre-built prompt. And if we have a look through this prompt, we can see that it basically says uh, what sort of uh, automation we want to build, uh, what it should be able to do, what inputs it's gonna have and what outputs it's gonna have. Um, it says it can provide real-time updates. It says which models it can use in terms of AI. It also says it can integrate with uh, APIs for HTTP requests. So this gives you a good idea of what you will want to put in here for your prompt when you're designing your own workplace. So let's click on go and it's gonna start building that. And it tells you here what it's doing in the process of building it. Now you could also see that we have uh, credits. So at the moment, you only have 20 credits um, actually, I believe if you're on higher versions, then you do get more. But at the moment, there is no way of replenishing these. I'm sure this will come in the future, but at the moment, use them wisely as you only have 20 or however many you have uh, with your subscription level. Now you can see here that the assistant is going through uh, step-by-step -step and creating everything that it needs to. If you use something like Cursor or V0 or Lovable before, you will see that this is basically the same, but now within NA10. And you can see, that it's actually creating all these nodes. The first step is adding all the nodes. Now it's thinking, now it's connecting together all of the nodes. There we go, it's finished creating and you'll see there still are a few things you need to do yourself manually. And that is mainly connecting it to accounts which are yours and has your billing attached to it. So this means OpenAI account, your like Anthropic account, uh, Google account, if you're using like a lot of Google's products, you're gonna need to still put in your credentials because otherwise it won't know how to connect to your own things. You can see we get a really nice prompt down here. We can just click on this and then we can enter in our credentials um, for our uh, OpenAI instance in this example. You can also see in this example, we are getting all the information from HTTP requests. And of course, because this is just a test, uh, we have no server, which is gonna give us information about our pizza menu because I don't have a pizza restaurant, believe it or not. Um, so these are not connected to anything. But that is where in the prompt, you can specify exactly what you want it to do and it's gonna build it out that quickly. Like I said, this does not work if you're using locally hosted or self-hosted instances of NA10. It's only currently working with uh, the cloud version of NA10. This might come to self-hosted versions, but I'm not holding my breath for it to happen anytime soon. Now, if you do use a self-hosted version of NA10, which I do recommend if you're using this for anything important, then you can simply take what AI has created and put it over into your self-hosted version by selecting everything, going on copy, coming over to your self-hosted version of NA10, 
and then going control V to paste it. And there we go, we've got everything here. And again, we still need to connect everything up, but it works. And there we go, we can see how this works. Obviously you can play around with it and make this actually work, hook up your own APIs, hook up your own tools, uh, build things for you which are useful rather than just uh, little uh, demos like this. Now the big question is, how does this change the N810 game and the AI automation space? We've had tools kind of like this for a while now. I created a video maybe three or four months ago how we could use Claude and projects in order to create workflows like this. However, now that it's inbuilt within NA10, it's going to be higher quality than using those versions which we pulled together ourselves. And also, it means that it really levels the playing field. Now, being able to build an automation on NA10 is not a super useful, valuable skill as it was six months ago. Now, there are still a lot of things within NA10 which are very useful. And really the skill switches from you know, physically creating the nodes and choosing which nodes to use and putting them together. That's no longer the skill really. The skill is really understanding what the underlying problem is and identifying which tools you need to use and how you should build that and how you should architect the solution in order for it to work the best in the real world. There's a big difference between being able to technically build something and building a solution which actually works in the real world, which people use, and that delivers actual results. Technically building is not enough. You've got to build it in a way in which humans can interact with well, and they will use and will actually deliver results. So now it's less about how you can put the Lego pieces together, and it's more about how do you choose which Lego pieces to put together? Because in this example here, we might not want to connect um, you know, to an API, we want to connect to Airtable, for example, or we might want to connect to uh, Notion or wherever like these different things are. So knowing which tools you want to use for a particular solution is now a much more valuable skill. Now that AI is creating these solutions for us, it also means that testing and quality control is a much more valuable skill because obviously we need to test what AI has built and make sure that it works in all scenarios. And if you are selling AI services and you are creating these for clients, it now means that the technical skill of building within NA10 is now much more diminished. It's not as important and the onus is much more upon client acquisition as it truly has been you know, for the last year or so. That's the hard part of selling AI services, client acquisition, not the actual technical side. So if you want that little bit of code, which makes this all possible, come across to the free community. I also have a paid community, my mastermind, which goes into much more detail on how you can actually apply AI to businesses to make a business more profitable and more systemized, whether that's your business or whether you are selling these services to clients. As you can see, we've got a load of resources in here for both business owners wanting to systemize their own business and also those of you who are selling these services to other businesses. I'll leave those links down in the description, which you can check out. That is it from this video. If you ever liked the video, please do like it, subscribe if you wanna see more from me like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.